In section 2.1, I'm going to show you how to configure voice and data VLAN for our CCI voice mock lab number 5. This is a video solution with audio instruction and demonstration of how to configure these tasks with more efficiently and fast, most of the fastest way. Now here we're going to configure data VLAN and voice VLAN for each particular site. We're going to uh, use these uh, VLAN IDs that is provided to us and we're going to apply them to the right interface. So the first thing I'm going to do is using the uh, old command on this particular switch create the VLAN. Now the server VLAN should be created but in case if it is not then I will I will create the server VLAN right here. I will apply them to the necessary port. Now type show CDP neighbor. In case you don't see anything uh, in the CDP or the, if you I, if you suspect the CDP is disabled, then I, su I strongly suggest type this command: CDP run, CDP advertisement version two, CDP timer sixty. This will ensure that CDP does not uh, you know it's not deactivated by default or by you know intentionally. Uh, once that is done on the router port, I type show switch port mode trunk. Define the encapsulation and define the native VLAN, which is the same as my data VLAN. Now, this trunk port does not require any additional configuration unless you want to restrictive, uh, be more strict and say which VLANs are allowed. Next, I will configure my IP phone. Now, based on my configure uh, show CDP neighbor. I notice my IP phone is connected to 0 slash 5 and 0 slash 2. If you have the latest switches, you should be able to use a range command. Sparentry port fast should be enabled only on the interface that is acting as access port, not a trunk port. Alright, so once that part is done, I will configure my second port. Okay.